Hi everybody, my name is Ola Zassi and I welcome you to Salvation Therapy. Today I'm going to be sharing a fantastic story that I know that you all will love and learn from. Today my guest is Ewa Tomu, aka Pewa, aka Pewa TV, aka Pewa the Influencer. This lady has done so much for herself, being a very influential person in the media space. And guess what? She's a pastor seed. And I thought, okay, let her come and share a story as a pastor seed and tell us how it is, how it has been. Because I know that a lot of pastors' children have a lot to say, but they don't have a platform to say. And this is to remind you again that you can come here to share your story with me. Just let me know and we'll fix the date. And we are going to share your story. I'm looking for people to share whose story I would like to share. I know this conversation is going to be very impactful for you. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And remember, don't keep quiet. Keep sharing. Do enjoy this one. I love you. My name is Precious Ewatomi Balumu, aka Pewa, aka Pewa Dollars, aka Pewa Founds, okay? <sighs> well, my childhood experience was not chaotic. It was not really problematic. So it was just filled with vibes and a lot of religious activities that I didn't even understand why I was doing those religious activities. It was filled with um, early morning Sunday runs, Tuesday and Thursday digging deep, faith clinic, you guys, I don't know if you guys can relate, but that's how my own childhood was, okay? And with a few friends too, yeah. Well, I think one of the most common misconceptions people have about pastor kids is that they are like bad sports, what's in people like Abajego. I'm not even trying to make excuses or defend pastor kids in quotes. Most of us, let me not say us, for my mommy watching this video, most of them are actually bad and you know, but I feel being bad is relative. You might be a pastor kid and might be bad, and might not be bad rather, and you might be a member kid and might not also be bad. So you being bad is not subjected to a particular type too because I'm a pastor kid. Everybody has their own traits. You can either be good or bad, be a pastor kid or not. One other misconception I think um, they have about pastor kids is that we they think maybe we have our life kind of figured out because our parents talk directly to God. Our parents and God are like five and six. So they feel ah this person ah, oh, doctor Mashi, lawyer no much. See low key, we don't we don't have anything figured out. Like guy, we are us last. We don't have anything figured out. We are like normal human beings trying on the streets of Lagos, Dubai, anywhere you find yourself in. So actually, we do have our life figured out. By the grace of God, we are just trying to figure it out. If I have my life figured out, I will not be doing media today. Okay? So I think one last misconception people think um, of pastors' children is that they feel we don't have self esteem. Our self esteem is kind of very, very low. Because they feel our parents can tell us where these lungs get to church today, where this big um, blazer to church today, a lot of stuff. And no, we have a mind on our own. If you check every Sunday morning, we also fight war with our mother and our father. Ah, mommy, I don't want to. Be, we, used to we have a mind on our, of our own, practically. So, yes, that is one major um, misconception I think people have about pastor children. Well, my parents have always been kind of supportive. Let me talk about my dad first. When I started off, my dad didn't really understand what I was doing. I remember every morning devotion, he would ask me, Precious, hey, what is the meaning of that prayer TV again? I would tell him, he will call me the next Sunday. Hey, explain again. I, I don't know, maybe till now I'm still even explaining kind of, but you can get the gist. Although he has, he, has, he has always been supportive. And my mom, that woman, eh, shout out to you, Pastor Mrs. Balu, I know you'll be watching this video. The woman has always been supportive, like very, very supportive. Although she still tells me some stuff that I do that are, you know, that means that I know that I'm already passing bridge. But basically, they've been so, so supportive. Hey, talking about church friends, I feel to a large extent, my friends then didn't really stigmatize me as a pastor. Because I didn't, I didn't give myself that title. Like my dad is the pastor, I'm just the child. Period. So if I actually lost any friend, that means we just fell off. My church friends then are still my church friends now. Not church friends because everybody has gone their separate ways. But we are still friends right now. They can still like relate to me because everybody has always known that I am an extroverted person. I would not say lousy, but they call me lousy. Then. Okay, then. 
apologies, whatever. But that is it. But right now, no, we are still cool. If we are not friends anymore, we just fell off. Period. Okay, I subconsciously try to involve God in everything I do, media wise, academics, everything I do. So like God is in a circle. My media life, finances, academics, everything is there. Now about the pastor kids, I feel right now if you ask anybody, even my church people about me, if you ask them, tell tell us ten things about power. Before they even mention Pastor Child, it's like maybe the twentieth thing because I have tried to build a name for myself. I've tried to remove that pastor kid. I mean, it's not a bad thing, you know. I'm happy my dad is a pastor, but it's not really a big deal for me anymore. My media life sometimes when I even want to like post some stuff, the Holy Spirit will just remind that you are you are passing the limits. You are passing the limit, and quickly I just detest. I used to do cook ups on my channel before, but I was praying and, and I got convinced that no, 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 it's not the right thing. I just stopped. Although it was bringing me money, I mean, it's the fastest way to get money, kind of, if you're doing what I'm doing, but I just had to stop. So God is God is involved in everything I do, and yeah, that's it. Is. So um, if you are a pastor child, anywhere you are in the world, it's Nigeria, or anywhere you are, just be you. Do whatever you want to do. Please put your parents blessings in quotes take it very very important don't disrespect them because you feel you're extroverted or you have a lot to offer the world no they're still very important very 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 important and if they are not supportive of you to an extent you might not really achieve what you're meant to, be, to achieve in the world so do what you're meant to do try and sit them down sometimes if they are very 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 stubborn put them in prayers that's why you're a pastor child <laughs> to an extent put them in prayers and just do you then for our parents the pastors Please be very, very supportive. Oh, everybody's not thinking. We have um, the introverted children, extroverted people, people that want to do fashion, a lot of stuff, talents, God giving talent. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope some of you can relate to whatever I said today. It is such an honor being on Salvation Therapy. Really, really an honor. Please don't forget to like this video, comment. Yes, we'll be reading comments. Please drop your comments. We'll definitely reply and also like it comment share this video and also do the good stuff thank you bye